Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so this isn't going to be the most long episode ever. Uh, I know a few of my episodes recently really haven't been that long, and I promise you that there will be longer ones to come. Wow, that just doesn't sound right. Uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> let's see. Now, I was asked by one of my subscribers... Basically, how I created the landy pad. Ooh, the landy pad. Yeah. No. Um. How I created the landy. The landing pad. Now, this was a little tricky to set up. Um. I. I basically had to run through a few different designs, like I normally always have to. And this is what I ended up coming up with. So I'm only gonna build one side, and then obviously the other side just gets flipped around. So you might notice. Um, th this is kind of like a bug that's kind of existed in the game for a while, and basically, when you go to place a part next to one of these parts, it doesn't, it basically shows up. But if you, uh, rotate it using A or D, then it, it will fix it, so then you can do that. So, anyways, this is, I, I mean, I could go to the rocket as well that I did use to launch it and all that other good stuff, but... Basically, I used this here, and oh, I gotta put one here as well, and uh, put one on that side too, because we're gonna need one there. So, yeah, this piece right here is kind of a little bit custom, so the fact that it is a little custom means I have to build it in such manner. So I'm gonna take this off first, because it will make it a little bit easier. Now with the landing pad itself to create the the base to where you land on top of it I used this here I like using the I don't know what that piece is called I mean it um yeah the brand adapter number two and, and I th just threw on a docking port on top so that created you know basically you know the landing portion there there we go now oh, I gotta take this off and create that. Bring this over and boom. There we go. And then bring one over here. Boom. And now that part is done. Flip this over. There we go. So you'll see they're kind of clipping into each other. And I don't know if they're for sure clipping. I mean, it looks like it a little bit, but I'm not sure. So, but I mean, it looks good either way. Now, there is one thing that I didn't do, and I, I mean, this is up to you whether you want to do that or not, but basically, you know, you could line up these, uh, you know, I, I bet I could explain it better by doing this here. Um, oh, hey, now it's not, li now it's not liking that. All right, bring this back, and there we go. So... Let's see. All right, I don't think it's I don't think it's liking that at all. Sometimes you just gotta keep reconnecting this thing until it works. Uh, sometimes these parts just kind of refuse to go together. There we go. But basically, what these little slit holes right here, maybe you could line them up to the outside, you know, and kind of make like a box out of them or something. It'd make it look more landing pad like. So bring this over. And boom, that whole side is done. So this is just to save time. Uh, whoa, this piece is linked. To, yeah, um, no. Bring this down. And flip this over. There we go. And this is our basic landing pad right here. Uh, well, come on. Let me place this piece in. That's weird. I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, there's got to be something going on with this module that it... I, I've had this problem before, and it's like, I don't know, it, it's almost like the pieces are linked in some strange fashion. I, I don't know. It It's another bug I think I've, I've found. So, actually, let's see if I can just do this. Oh, there we go. Yeah, perfect. So we got the landing pad all set up. Now... Just to let you know, underneath here I did place struts, and to create 
the uh, base for it that I used, I basically just put more of these little fuel tanks. Um, well, actually, I should do this first. Now, this is for my height, as far as my, how high my base is off the ground. So, my base is roughly one of these L1 landing struts off the ground. So this is kind of what I do, and I like to line up my parts a little bit so, you know, I get a little OCD about the way things look and how things should be fit together. There we go. That That's that's fine. I, I'm not actually going to be using this for anything, but um, I, it was requested, so I must do it. Anytime anyone requests anything, I am more than willing to do a video about it. No problems. There we go. So now we got our legs set up, and I like to do that first, just to, um, it makes it easier, because then you can just copy and paste all the parts, and it makes it a little bit faster. So flip this over, there we go, and boom. Now that's basically how I set up my uh, landing pad. I, there really isn't very much of a difference the only other thing I added, or actually, I will I sh I could add just to show you guys, is I just put one of these on here. Now I always try to keep this part right here, the the narrow band that runs along the side. I always keep that on, you know, on the side. I I, I really if you I keep always keep it going this way, whereas this part I always keep at the top. I, I it's hard to explain. Um, once again, that's just OCD stuff that, that I do when I play this game, so that just kind of works that way. So we'll put this docking port on here, flip this around, and one thing I will mention, and I always say this, building a base isn't exactly an easy thing to do, and it really does take a lot of time. And so adding, I always say this, and... Uh, you know adding certain things to your base regardless uh, you know adding like extra docking ports even though you might not need them in the specific spots uh, is always kind of a just a good thing always to have just because you never know you might end up wanting to you know like say I wanted to extend this landing pad and add another one right next to it I could land this exact same cookie cutter no changes done to it module which one, I, one thing I should mention too, cookie cutter, when I say that, um, when I mean by cookie cutter is like, if you were to actually use a cookie cutter shape like a Christmas tree, every single one is always the same, every single part, you know, every single module that you build is the same cookie cutter, same thing. So, you know, if I wanted to, I could land one of these right next to the one I have on the, on the on the base and I could just dock up these two ports perfectly and I'd have two landing pads right next to each other so in this is another good thing too is because it also adds a little bit of fuel storage it puts a little bit of weight underneath your landing pad and I, I mean I'm not a hundred percent certain that this landing pad style really works uh, you know like 100% um, you know there might be a little bit of a bug or an issue that I don't know about as of yet that might end up being somewhat of a problem. You, I, you know, there's always something new in this game that basically just jumps out of nowhere and just, you know, basically wants to destroy whatever it is that you've created. Some people call it the Kraken, whatever. Um, you know, this just stuff like that. Or, you know, it's just your design doesn't work. That's the other thing. Uh, I built plenty of things that I thought were going to work perfectly well and it didn't so you know it's always a constant fight with this game depending on what it is you're trying to do and your especially if it's relatively untested and there's no real hard data on it now I went with with the one that's on Minmus this is the strut points I had on it the exact same I mean it's not exact same but this is basically the same setup I had as far as the strut points on it to hold all the pieces together now the one thing I will mention with the lander as far as getting it down this is what I did for the lander um, I thought it was kind of a smart thing to do but it wasn't the best 
So, uh, there was a few problems with balance after landing, and that had to do with having three separate engines instead of four. So I use this style, then, um, what else was there? Uh, I kind of want to put some, if I were telling you to build this, I would tell you to put a little bit of separation in between the modules, just because landing something that close isn't really a smart thing to do. So I would just go like that, boom, and... Oh, the one thing I should mention too, um, I use this here, so this is like the main, um, the main control point right now, as far as the main command module, because if you add a separate one, if I were to delete this command module, it would tell me to add a new one, but the main command module on all of my launches is always the very last stage, so with a design like this, um, the main command module would be this one here and then I would have a separate one underneath here so this would be the same design it's just that the main command module would be the very last piece so this would be the lander here you know and I would do a four configuration with this like that for a lander only because I did three and um, it didn't work so well uh, you know it, I can just show you right now I mean Oh, there we go. You know, you had ba I basically had, um, it was more like this here. There we go. So I basically had one here, one here, and one here, which I just slap on any tank, which I usually go with a little bit of a bigger tank in order to, you know, make sure it's not really for landing purposes, but for when I get on the surface and I actually need the fuel to uh, move the pieces around. But as far as a sky crane is concerned, I would use this engine here on Minmus, at least on Minmus. The gravity is too low, um, yeah, the gravity is really low, so I mean it really isn't that bit much of a deal using it. It's a very lightweight engine, so you're not adding a lot, like, you know, compared to this, you know, you have something like this, it's a very lightweight engine, so you're not adding a lot of extra uh, weight to your craft, and you know, and these little tanks and the amount of fuel that they use over time is a very small amount especially when you're when you're using the sky crane over the surface you basically run them you don't run them past like 25 percent so you're never using just insane amounts of fuel on takeoff with this after um i reached orbit i did take all the fuel out of these tanks to use it uh, to get to Minmus. Now, I did put the fuel back once I landed, though, so that I, I ended up using and bringing way more fuel than I needed as normal, but, you know, uh, I, I used the nuclear engines to also propel this thing there, so that was the main reason why I had more fuel than I needed. So, um, you know, as far as strut layout, I mean, underneath... I use this configuration and it works. It's all right. Um, if you want to, maybe throw on a few more struts. That's up to you, really, to be honest. I did slap some lights on the outside of this thing, you know, for when you're landing, and then it lights up your craft when you know you're like when you're floating over the top of the pad. It will light up your craft, so then you'll know you're at least over the landing pad. So it, it kind of works. That uh, that idea kind of works. But as far as if you, if you want to add any other craziness to it, that is up to you. If it works for you, cool. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. But this has worked for me. This is the exact same design I used. There's no other real differences between the one that I launched and that's on Minmus and the one that we're looking at right now. So, yeah. Um, as far as the Sky Crane is concerned, oh, this is what I did that was different. Uh, one other thing, I, I guess I should throw this in there because. I am using small size docking ports on basically everything and this will help you get a little bit more bang for your buck when you're uh, bringing all this stuff to Duna, or, well Duna, to Minmus. Now once you land and you get the piece 
like to where you want it you can basically dispose of whoa yeah no that wasn't what i was trying to do come on oh god come on just go back in there without giving me problems please come on come on ah well anyways basically what you can do is once you land uh you can take off with all of this and then you can dispose of this whole piece here and just say goodbye you know and just dump it someplace and i do that because you know you're only going to use at least for my base i only need a sm very small to a large decoupler um well a retrofit whatever you want to call it once it really doesn't you know i have no purpose for it other than that so it worked everything worked out pretty well now the one thing i will say is once you get it close to the surface and you're maneuvering keep the legs up if you're going to use these small legs they will break off easily um and as far as uh, bumping the surface with these parts the uh six sway whatchamacallit thing the bobbers here the hub max uh don't bump them into the ground because you will break them. So all I will say is once you land, quick save, and uh, yeah, you'll, you, I think you'll be all right. But, you know, I'm thinking about starting at some point uploading my uh, craft files, but I, at this point, I don't really think I'm going to do that. It's just uh, a little bit too much work, and I don't know if everyone would really want them. So that, that's kind of my main thing. So anyways, guys, um, if you like what you see here, subscribe. There's always more to come. To all you new people, welcome. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time. <laughs>